Welcome to today's episode of Watercolor Techniques with Jane. Today we're going to do a wet into wet technique and then um, lay plastic wrap over it and make an organic background that can be used in other projects. Uh, so I hope you enjoy this episode. Please subscribe to me, uh, my YouTube channel, if you would like. That would be great. And I hope you enjoy this. Thank you for visiting. So hello, uh, Jane May Jones here, watercolor artist, and um, I'm going to demonstrate today how I make this effect. Uh, this is um, a well-known effect. Um, it's uh, wet into wet watercolors, and then um, you put saran wrap over it and you let it dry. But what I do then is I cut it um, and I make these uh, lovely original watercolor cards out of them. Uh, this is one here. This is another one where um, I've used the background but put in some seaweed and a fish. Um, or you can um, do some line drawings like this. So to get this effect, we take a quite a large brush and I have um, a pad of Canson 140 pound um, paper, watercolor paper. And I'm going to wet it, saturate it, and um, then I'm going to apply some color to it. And today I'm going to use a little bit different mixture of colors than what I usually do. I like the colors of the ocean and purple. Let's see if I've missed a spot. No, oh, that looks pretty good. And now I'm going to mix up some permanent rose and some cadmium yellow to make a really pretty orange. Like that. And maybe a little bit more pink up here. And just keep it wet and flowing. And maybe some pure yellow. Let it blend itself on the paper. Keep adding water to it, keep it wet. And I like to have my strokes go all the same way. Now I'll add some more pink. Some purple here too. I'm going to add some more vibrant pink. Yay! Just dipping it right in the paint and using just the water on my brush and on the paper. And when you're happy with the colors that you have, just any saran wrap. And here's my saran wrap and I'm gonna stretch it. So it stretches across the paper. Stretches and you need to have the wrinkles. You can move it around a little. See how that's already creating some organic um, texture. Make sure the paper is still wet. Ah, move it around 
a bit, make some different textures. And there you have it. Now you have to let it dry.